200 years ago in the United States of America, African Americans were enslaved and in chains. Christianity was a religion taught to the slaves by their slave holders. Why then do African Americans today cling to a religion that worships a white man taught to them by white slave masters? The answers are a bit complicated and belong in another film. This film celebrates those few African Americans who saw through the lies and developed thoughts and opinions independently of religion and antiquity. There's a name for such individuals, and it is a free thinker. Here, we celebrate the greatest African American free thinkers. Oscar Micheaux is the most prolific filmmaker of the silent era. Producing 43 films during his career, his achievements are remarkable considering the many obstacles African American filmmakers faced. He challenged openly the racial injustices faced by African Americans at the beginning of the 20th century. He seemed to have a special dislike for the men who disseminated religious dogma. They say there are no small roles for actors. It has never been more true when it comes to Butterfly McQueen. She is famous for appearing as Prissy in the 1939 film Gone with the Wind. Though it is not well known, her atheist quotes are much more significant than any of her films. James Baldwin was easily one of the hundred greatest African Americans. In 2005, the United States Postal Service issued a first-class postage stamp in his honor. Hello, my love. I heard a kiss from you. Lorraine Hansberry was all of 29 years old when her play, A Raisin in the Sun, won the New York Drama Critics Circle Award. A member of the Harlem Renaissance, she was a notorious free thinker. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Thomas Sowell is included here for his intellectual prowess. There are no religious leaders who have ever contributed intellectual achievements to mankind. It is a realm reserved exclusively for free thinkers. One of Sowell's beliefs is that poverty among minority groups is less a result of racial and social discrimination than of a group's values, ethics, and attitudes. He contends that if discrimination is to blame for a group's lack of progress, then many of the Japanese, Chinese, and Jewish groups in America would never have reached the level of prosperity that they enjoy today. Larry Elder dispenses his own brand of radical opinion on KABC Radio in Los Angeles. His opinions are almost always at odds with wider African American views. Elder favors school vouchers, limiting the power of federal government, and decriminalization of both drugs and prostitution. He is against affirmative action and the welfare system. Like Thomas Sowell, he believes racism is not nearly as prevalent as most African Americans believe. Not as widely known, but just as relevant, here are more great African American free thinkers.
Real heroes never die. They continue to inspire. A part of our soul, we carry them with us always.